The side effects of any medication, you could have an allergic response to the medication, although usually that's to one of the dyes in the tablets. Uh, you might get a bit of diarrhoea, but all of those things are actually very uncommon with warfarin. But all anticoagulants are associated with bleeding. New ones, or old ones, ones you inject or ones you take by tablets, they're all associated with an increased risk of bleeding. The most serious risk of bleeding is that of a brain hemorrhage. Fortunately, that's a, a very uncommon event, but a very serious event. So depending on the sort of studies we've been looking at, might be around about 1% or half a percent risk. And although some agents have a small advantage in that, the differences aren't very big between any of the anticoagulants. More common bleeding, um, still less than a few percent, uh, relates to gut bleeding, um, peptic ulcer bleeding, or sometimes bleeding from the colon or bowel. Uh, and that bleeding can be dangerous, but fortunately isn't too dangerous. And sometimes that bleeding is quite slow. So a patient may just become anemic over time and be feeling a bit tired. However, if the stool colour changes and becomes black or red, then that's a sign that you're bleeding from your gut. And that would be something that obviously would be need to be urgently reviewed. The symptoms of brain haemorrhage are the same as symptoms of stroke, and they should be very obvious to you. Um, if you've got a severe unexpected headache, that might be worth talking to your doctor about as well. There's other forms of bleeding, um, most of which fortunately would be minor, like a nosebleed. Most of that can be dealt with by an ENT surgeon or your GP. So bleeding is the main side effect of any anticoagulant. 